come over here, do this. There, and now we've got our Ritual Diviner. Hello, and welcome to another episode of Regrowth Reloaded. All right, in the last episode, I did mention that we would probably be doing some work with blood magic. Um, so that's what I've got planned for today. Um, we are here at our blood altar, which is currently a tier three blood altar. And uh, right now we have uh, nothing in the blood altar. Uh, it's at zero. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit of blood in there now to get us started. So we're up to 10,000, which is what the capacity is of this, which is fine. So first thing I want to do is I learned uh, this little trick from somebody, and that is we're gonna be making juice and cookies. And these, um, you want to eat them and after you lose some blood and it will rejuvenate your blood really quickly. Um, I wish I would have known about this when we were trying to get that um, that one blood orb that we were working on and it just I couldn't do it. This would have actually helped me to to get that. But first thing we have to do is we have to come in here and I'm gonna get some orange dye, a glass bottle, and a cookie. So First thing we have to do is make a blood orange. So let's go ahead and put the orange dye on here. And that makes a blood orange. And then we combine the orange with the glass bottle to give us orange juice. And then combine that with the cookie to give us juice and cookies. So, let me go ahead and eat real quick here. And I'll, we'll top this back off and then I'll kind of show you how that works. Do that and then you drink the juice and cookies and you see how it um, heals you up very quickly. All right, so there's that. So I've got a couple of things that I want to craft that aren't in the book, but we are going to need. Um, and the first thing we're gonna do is a ritual diviner. So let's go ahead and take a look in here. Ritual diviner. And that is four diamonds, an emerald, and then these um, elemental inscription tools. So you got air, fire, earth, and water. And uh, so like air is a gas tier in the blood altar, tier three with a thousand life points. So I've got that over here. So actually it's gonna be, so we've got a lapis block, I think is for water, air is that one. Uh, Fire, Earth, I think, is those. Let me go ahead and grab these diamonds and this emerald as well. And let's go ahead and start with the inscription tools. So we're going to start off with the gas tier. Put that in there. And let it do its thing here. There we go. We got that one. Then let's do the magma cream. I think it's also a thousand. Yep. All right. Let's do the lapis block. All right, there's that one. And then let's go ahead and finish up with the obsidian. And there we go, that's those. So if we come back in and we look at our Ritual Diviner. All right, that's what we need. I think I have a, yeah, I do. Let's come over here, do this. Put there, and now we've got our Ritual Diviner. Perfect. The next thing we need is a weak activation crystal. So let's take a look at that. And that's actually right here, weak activation crystal. And this is a lava crystal in 
in the tier three altar with 10,000 blood. All right, so right now we are currently at 6,000. So this should be 8,000, 10,000. There we go. All right, so we got enough in there for that. And let's take a look at the recipe for the lava crystal. And that is two glass, three buckets of lava, two obsidian, a diamond, and the orb. The highest level that we have, I think, which is the magician's orb. We should have all of that in here. Yeah, there we got the magician's orb. So let's go ahead and grab this stuff here. The glass, lava buckets diamond and two pieces of obsidian come here one there go ahead and craft that real quick there we go we got our lava crystal oh I guess we, we had the orb on us already so doesn't matter all right so then we're gonna take this and put this in our blood altar like that and let it do its thing and I'll be right back with you as soon as it's ready all right that didn't take that long so here we go we've got our our um, weak activation crystal all right so I need these things for the next piece that we're gonna be working on which is actually in the book so if we come into our book and let's go into chapter 13 the way the world bleeds and we're going to come down here first of all to mighty rights all right it has come to your attention that in order to advance your altar further you are going to need access to some very specific materials and to get them you are going to need to delve into sanguine rituals in order to build rituals you are going to need a very specific type of stone specifically or specially attuned to the bloody magics you will be sending coursing through them so this wants us to make 10 ritual stones and a master ritual stone. So let's take a look at the recipe for the ritual stones. And those are uh, four obsidian, four refined slates, and the blood orb. And that'll give you four. So I want 10. I'm actually going to need more because the master ritual stone, if you look at that, is made up of obsidian and the ritual stones. So I need four of them for there. So I'm making a few extra so let me go ahead and grab all of this here actually yeah all right let's come in here and let's do ritual stone okay ritual stone obsidian reinforced slates like that like that obsidian Magician's blood orb. There we go. There we go. So we got 16 of those. And then we need the master ritual stone. Okay. Obsidian. All right. Let me try this again. Ritual stones. Did I use up all my obsidian? I didn't grab it, that's why. There we go, obsidian. And their blood orb will give us the master ritual stone. All right, let's take a look in our quest book and see if that's completed. Okay, we've got the master ritual stone. Oh, it wants us to make 10 crafts of that okay let me see if i got enough of um, these things in here 36 um, okay let me grab some um obsidian sleep real quick and i'll make the rest of those i'll be right back with you all right so i got the stuff i need i don't even think about it buddy Okay, let's try this again. So I needed 24 more, so let's go ahead and do this. Let's 
go and that should give us the 10 that we needed check our quest book okay so we got that now we got another detection task you wanted to, us to make oh you're kidding me so I got to make those again and it's probably gonna want me to make the ritual uh, diviner so let me grab this stuff and we'll make this again real quick I'll be right back with you all right so I got the stuff again let's go ahead and remake all of this let me go ahead and uh, clear up a bit of room in here so that one there we go that one The obsidian. And lapis. There we go. All right. Get those in here. Take a look in our quest book. Got that. That. Crafting task, he wants us to craft the Ritual Diviner, which we already did. Detection task, weak activation crystal, which we already did. So we're going to claim our reward of 48 Ritual Stones and a Ritual Dismantler. So let's go ahead and do that. And there we go. All right. Phew. All right. Let's see what we got here now. Let me clear some of this stuff out of my inventory. Don't need those. Uh, put this aside for the moment. Those got that. And that's our ritual dismantler, which we don't want. We want the ritual diviner. All right, because the next thing we're going to look at is we're going to look at the quest bit of a bind which is now opened up for us and this one says the next step towards a tier 4 altar is to obtain weak blood shards and to do that you're going to need a way to apply weakness to your foes a simple way to do this is with the bound blade created with the ritual of binding so crafting a bound blade requires performing a ritual of binding on an elementium sword be careful not to make a dire mistake and I assume that has something to do with Direwolf's playthrough. So I do have an Elementium sword that we crafted a while ago. And that is in here. I think he was trying to use the Elven knife or something. I don't remember what it was that he was doing. All right, so we've got that part done. Uh, next thing is, to make a bound blade, you will need to prepare a ritual of binding. To do so, hold and shift and right click with the ritual diviner until you see that ritual of binding has been selected. Then place the master ritual stone and right click it with sufficient, right click it with the diviner. As long as there's a sufficient space around the master stone and you have enough ritual stones in your inventory the ritual will be fully laid out for you once that is done right click the master stone with the activation crystal to activate the ritual for 5,000 life points then drop the elementium sword in the middle watch out for lightning strikes and consider putting out the fires before the ritual completes okay so first thing we need is our ritual diviner and then it was with a shift right click ritual full spring serenade ritual green grove Interdiction, Ritual of Containment, Ritual of Binding. That's the one we want. Come back in here, make sure that's the right one. Ritual of Binding. Okay, so next thing we need to do is we need to place down the Master Stone. I'm going to place it here. And then what did it say to do? We were to... Uh, and right click it with the diviner as long as there is sufficient space around the master stone and you have enough ritual stones in your inventory the ritual will be laid out for you once done right click the master stone with the activation crystal to activate the ritual for 5,000 life points now I do have in my personal blood network I've got 
19,400. So we've got plenty of, of life points for that. So right click on this. Is there enough room? Let me double check. Might be close to there. So let me move it over just a little bit. Make sure I am not too close to the bees either. It's good. That looks good. It's good. Okay, so let's go ahead and build this. Is that complete? Alright, so that is our ritual, I believe, is all we need to do. Is there anything else that needs to be built? Doesn't look like it. Alright, let me sleep real quick. And then we're going to come back out here and we're going to cast this ritual and see how this works. All right, so let's see what it says to do next then. Um, uh, okay, we've only laid out for you. Once done, right click the master stone with the activation crystal to activate the ritual for 5,000 life points. Then drop the elementium sword in the middle. Watch out for lightning strikes. Consider putting out the fires before the ritual completes. All right, so we need the that and that. So, I'm going to right click that. You feel a pull, but are too weak to push any further. I wonder if you have to charge up this thing. Let's see what that does. Let's do that real quick. Okay. Alright, so we've got 10,000 in there. Do we have to charge this thing up? No. I think maybe it needs 10,000 in the altar to do it. Or 5,000 in the altar. I don't know. You feel a pull. But you're too weak to push any further. What on earth does that mean? You can have it. Throw that in the center. Does it do anything? Doesn't look like it. Ritual of binding. Let me take Okay, so we're going to use the Ritual of Dismantling, and let's take this down. Use it on here. There we go. Let me check. Magician's Apprentice. Which one am I using? Magician's Blood Orb. Let me check that one real quick. Put these other ones away. Apprentice week. Probably using the highest level one. Yeah, I think that's it. Right, where's my new divination sigil? Current essence, 33,740. Alters current essence. Let me get this out of here. So I can fill that back up. eat one of these. Alright, let's try this again. If 
virtual platoon to facing east. Okay, do I have to stand on the east side? Is that what that means? You feel a pull, but you're too weak to push any further. Hmm. I don't know what to do with this. I'm, I'm gonna have to actually research this and see if I can figure it out. Um, this should be working. I, I don't I don't know what I'm doing wrong here. So, all right, let's uh, try this now. I, I think I know what I need to do. Actually, let me get my divination sigil. There he is. All right. Do anything now. Let's sell. Okay, not do anything. There we go. Click it on the top up there. Okay. Let's see if we can put up these fires here. There we go. And that is the ritual. And now we have our bound blade. So let's go ahead and take a look at our quest book. We got that 100%. Now that you've got the bound blade, it's a simple matter of slaughtering something with it. To activate it, hold it. Shift and right click while activated, it will drain LP from your soul network, so be wary. All right, so how much do I have in my soul network? Right now I have 37,000. Okay. All right, and as you can see, I kind of um, set up for uh, level four here already. Um, because this is actually, I couldn't get that figured out and I wanted to, once I figured out what I needed to do, I, I came back in here and um, finished recording this. So let me put this away. And um, let's see. Can I do it with this? Ouch. All right, so I'll shift right click with it. Is that what it said? To activate it. All right, let's see if we can use it here did that give us a soul shard let's look in here I don't see one right, let's see if we can find ourselves some monsters to slaughter Creeper, I'll leave him alone. There's a zombie. Let's see. Let's see if we can get him to spot us here. There we go. Can you walk in the water, idiot? Got these guys here. There we go. How many of them did I need? I've got three. All right, so that should be everything that we need. Oops. Dude. 
All right, let's head back to the base. What is our oh, stupid cat thing? All right, please try that again. All right. All right, let me sleep and I'll be right back with you. All right, so let's take a look at the quest book here. Uh, we did the, we made the bound blade. Uh, now that you've got the bound blade, it's a simple matter of slaughtering something with it to activate, hold, shift, and right click. When all activated, it will drain LP from your soul network, so be wary. So we needed one blood shard, weak blood shard. We got that, and it's going to give us six more. All right. So now it wants us to go into Sanguine Decoration. Now that you've got your Blood Shard, you're capable of further enhancing your altar up to the fourth tier. More information and diagram about upgrading the altar to tier four can be found in Sanguine Scientium under the Architect Life of the Mage tier four. So it wants me to make one large bloodstone brick. So let's take a look at the recipe for that. And that is one weak blood shard with one stone will give us 32 large bloodstone bricks. Okay, we can do that real quick. Let me run downstairs. Let's clean up our inventory real quick. Grab a stone. So one stone plus one week will give us 32 of these okay and then it wants us to uh, now that you've got your altar to tier four you can also make fourth tier slate demonic slates so demonic slates are uh, imbued slates in a blood altar tier four with 15,000 life points so let's first um, get our altar up to fourth tier we've got I've already put down all the, the um, blood runes around the outside and what I did was I used um, the um, botanic runes instead because they're easier to make than regular blood runes so hopefully this will do the trick um, they're supposed to be compatible so we'll find out here if not, I'm going to have to spend some time crafting blood runes and they're just kind of a pain in the neck to do because, you know, it's the um, living or living rock in here and each one does a thousand and it takes to make one slate and it takes two slates to make um, one blood rune. All right, so let's see. Let me get up here. Didn't I grab some? Uh, well, that's okay. We'll just do it this way. One, two, three. Okay. Put one there. One of these here. One of these here. And let's see, put one here. With any luck, we've got a level four altar. So let's um, come up here, check this. Altar current tier four. We got a uh, capacity of 14,000. All right, and we currently have 9820 in there. Cool. All right, so I already um, turned this sword off because I didn't don't want to keep um, keep it running at the moment. Oh, now they show up in there. Okay, so we want to make an, a demonic slate, and that was made from a imbued slate. Now we should have an imbued slate. We do. We've got five of them. Let me go ahead and grab one. We need to 
add some blood to the altar here. Let me go ahead and do this. Get myself juice and cookies. Already have some. Get rid of this creeper. There we go. Go pick up the goodies. Don't need them, but no point in letting them sit there either. Okay, so let's uh head in fourteen thousand is what we're up to. We're gonna go ahead and put that in there. Should be enough. It takes fifteen thousand for that. Go ahead and do that. And there we go. One demonic slate. I think that's all we needed was the one. There we go. And that's going to give us two runes of superior capacity and two runes of the orb. Let's go ahead and claim those. All right, what is next is um, going to be the um, Going Places Bloody and uh, Ritual Enhancements, um, which we will do those two in the next episode. All right, well, that's it for this episode. We got our t um, altar up to Tier 4. Um, we finally figured out how to do the ritual. Um, next episode, we got two more quests that we're probably going to be looking at for Blood Magic, and I think that might finish that out. I don't know if we actually need to upgrade the altar to tier 5 or tier 6 as part of the quest line, but we'll find out where we're going to go from there. So, until next time, this is Desert Rat. Have a good one. Goodbye!